<laughs> hey guys, uh, so I'm going to do a quick video here for showing you my my pack, what I'm bringing on the AT, my section hike of the AT. So I figure we'll start with the clothes, the clothing. So you can see I have a waterproof jacket. It's a Outdoor Research Helium 2. It does the job, but I think there's better options out there. This is a, a Columbia uh, down jacket. It's a little heavy for a down jacket. and doesn't pack as small as I think others do. So I'd also recommend another one. I mean, it works. It's what I have. And then I've got some, I've got my nice, i got Columbia pants with zip-off shorts. And I've got Mountain Hardware hiking shirt there, which uh, seems to be pretty nice. It's super lightweight, breathable, and it dries very quick. You know, you put that in the water and then wear it. It'll be super cool, and it'll dry off as you hike. And then I've got just some nylon underwear. I'll wear one and pack one. I have some darn tough socks, which are amazing. I'll wear one and pack one. Maybe uh, have a clean pair for the evening. And then I've got like a like a kind of thermal shirt for uh, sleeping. I got like some leggings for sleeping or if it gets cold. And then I've got uh, my bathroom kit. So I've got some, I don't know if you can see through there, but I've got this guy, uh, some tiger bone for sore muscles. I got a little comb for my hair. I got some floss, I'll have a toothbrush. I have a little sewing kit. And I've got, um, this is a kind of like sunscreen for your tattoo, but this is like all natural ingredients. So it's got um, CBD oil and jojoba oil and some other stuff. So that'll be good for my face for kind of a chapstick and also for my tattoo. Um, and then I got my bathroom, my toilet stuff. So I got my trowel and I've got some TP, which hopefully I won't need. I'm going to try to do more of a bidet kind of cleaning thing, reduce waste, reduce my footprint in the, in the wild there. And then I have my filtration system. So it's just the Sawyer Squeeze. Um, very good. I've used it before. I love this. This is just, it just works really well. And I'm just going to use this as my dirty bag bladder. Um, I've heard they, they don't hold up all the time. So I might take two of them because they're pretty lightweight. Um, but yeah, so I'll just have this as my dirty bag. If you want something better, definitely looks like the C knock, um, bladders are the best because they just open up on the wide end and you can just scoop water way easier than trying to sneak it into this top cap uh, and those just seem to last forever um, so with that I'll have these two water bottles and they're BPA free uh, plastic water bottles lightweight and they're a liter each so hopefully I'll have you know a liter, a liter and a half um, when I refill and then I'll have some dirty water in the other bladder, in my Sawyer bladder. And that'll be kind of my, my uh, bidet water, my butt cleaning water. Uh, so now we'll come over here. I got my tent. This is, uh, what is, this? This is the Lanshan 2. So it's got the fly and the inside mesh. Um, and so that's going to be put up with trekking poles. It's a two-person tent. It gives me a little bit of space. But it's only a few ounces more than the single person. Ah, here you go. I'll show you. the. It's the 3F. UL Gear Lanshan 2. And then I have here, this is my sleeping bag. And this is in my homemade waterproof bag, made out of contract, out of a contractor bag. Cut it up, put a nice duct tape on there with some stitching. Um, we'll see how well it holds up. I hope so. <laughs> it should do well enough. Um, and that's the Catabatic uh, Flex 22. And that's really nice. And then I have my, my sleeping pad, the Neolite. X, the Neo, what is it, Neo X Lite, something like this, R, R value is 4.2, and uh, really nice and thick, really comfortable. And uh, I also have this Outdoor Vitals, um, a nice blow up pillow, seems like a really nice newer company, I've seen them on Kickstarter recently, and I also have this, which is a nice uh, airbag, so you fill it up with air, and then you can squeeze it out into your pad really nice so I don't have to blow every night all the time which is really great um, and here we have just my tent poles um, and then I'll show you this guy what is this bag any guesses what's in there 
<laughs> this is actually uh, my ook. So I made this little bag, waterproof bag, carry my ook in. And um, three months is just too long to not be playing. And I think I'll have some time out there. We'll find out how true it is. And then I have my little ditty bag. So I have my power cord for bear hanging. I've got my 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 headlamp light. I didn't like what it, the strap that it came with, so I just used um, some <laughs> some underwear um, elastic, and that is actually much more comfortable. I have some twine. This will be good for um, I don't know hanging clothes and whatever else I think of. And this is some rubber bands. I have my two USB plug. This is a ten thousand and a milliamp uh, power battery. I have some duct tape. I'll have two USB plugs for my phone and this and this. Um, and then I also have my massage ball. So that'll be good for my IT bands and also for my feet. Help with the recovery. And then I have these. Do you know what these are? These are toe separators. So you put your toes through there and it helps separate everything out. Because when you're hiking all day, in your shoes, your, your toes are all squeezed together. And so this helps spread them out into their more natural, flexed, uh, more wide stance. Um, so hopefully that helps with recovery as well. And then I have my trekking poles. They are just, what is it, Cascade Mountain Tech. Um, I just saw someone's video. They did some through hikes with these. They're just 40 bucks at Costco. Um, you can find them on Amazon between like 40 60 dollars depending on which ones you get these are carbon I don't know and then last but not least is my bag this is a um, Deuter I like Deuter um, but this bag is like 10 years old and it's a 65 liter arc light plus 10 and um, so this thing is five pounds which is a little bit heavy if you can get a lighter bag that would be Highly recommend it because all together, this stuff is this this stuff is about 17 pounds base weight, which is heavier than I want. I was hoping for 15 or under, um, including the ook. I know. So if you have any comments how I can lighten this up, um, I know. I mean, I'm not going to change my gear. I don't think I have anything really extraneous. Not extraneous. X X. I don't know. Extra. So, except for the ook, but I'm going to try to bring it. I don't care. Uh, so, yeah, that's everything. And that's everything I'm bringing. I've given it a little bit of a test run. And so, I think it's all set.